Hey, what's up, everybody? Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV here in Las Vegas, being joined with Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn, you're in a, a lot uh, happier mood. You're, you're cheerful. You're happy. When, when I spoke to you, bro, I was like, dude, is Keyshawn mad at me? Like, what's going on? I think you were locked in, but you're, you're in a good mood right now. Oh, yeah, man. When we spoke, it just had a lot of shit going on. And I feel like the questions you was asking me was getting me amped up. So, yeah. uh, but no, nah, I don't got pissing you off. Nah, you wasn't pissing me off. You were just getting me amped up. Yeah. And that's like I said, during that day, I already had a lot going on. So my facial expressions, I guess, were showing it. But uh, I don't got no problems with, with you or, or yeah, nobody, yeah. though, bro. No, sure. I, was, I wasn't sure because then I saw your story. You posted our thing. Yeah. Right, and you, like, switched yeah. up on him. I was like, oh, man, did I piss <laughs> off Keisha? Like, what did I do? What did I say? Nah, nah hell nah, bro. You ain't, you ain't do nothing but what okay. you're supposed to do, for sure. Okay, okay. I appreciate that because, no, that, it's, it's, it's hard because, like, I just ask questions. Like, I take myself out of it but sometimes i know fighters are they wear their hearts on their sleeves you know very emotional and stuff yeah. like that and i respect that because they're putting everything on the line in the ring but like sometimes to them it comes off like differently you know yeah no nah, for sure i'm not i'm used to be but i'm growing into a fighter that doesn't walk around with hella emotions yeah. <laughs> understand what i'm saying like i res i'm a re real respectful person mm -hmm. and um if you feel like i disrespected you i apologize no, i did it no 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 yeah so i'm not really that type of person to be walking around with a fuck with a real big ego or yeah. nothing like that. I'm just I'm just me. I'm the businessman. Speaking of which, I want I, I wanted to ask you this question when we spoke on Zoom, but like I mentioned you you were, you know, intense and stuff like that. But uh, do you get a chance to stop by Girl Collection get get some uh, get some chicken wings? Nah, I oh, did it. Good. That's good, right? That's a good thing, you know? I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. But, hey, I'm going to be, hey, I find out on Thursday, you know, Friday night. Hey, that's where you get the popping. So, yeah. girl collection. Floyd. Hey, Floyd, meet, meet me there now. Yeah, I wanted to do a bit with you. I don't know if we could do it. It'd be great. We go and we rate Vegas's top strip club food. Not the strip clubs, but the food. Hey, we could do it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's set it up right after yeah. this fight. We could, we could tour the whole Vegas. No, oh, I'm serious about this. Henderson, 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 we could do the whole. We'll hire a camera crew. And we go and we just rate the food. Man, let's do it. Like, let's do it. Cause you got Sapphire, you got Rhino, you got Treasures, uh, Chicas. Have you heard of Chicas Bonitas? Bro, I'm new out here. I don't know nothing, bro. bro collection, so. Nah, yeah. Chicas Bonitas. You, know, you gotta put me on for sure. But this is, uh, I'm gonna get myself in trouble. My lady's gonna be watching and be like, what the hell is this guy doing in Vegas? Yeah. Trust me, I don't go, this was before you. So, <laughs> you know, Keyshawn, uh, I gotta ask you, everyone's asked you, bro, but just for our cameras, uh, the interaction with Teo, yeah. I, I would imagine that kind of took you aback, right? Took me back like as a what? Like a back, like surprised. Surprised about what? Like that that happened. Why would I be surprised about that? It came out of nowhere. Me and T.O. been known each other since we was amateurs, bro. Yeah. Like, I was around T.O. when he was not all of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? It was just a... And I don't care if I was speaking to Michael Jackson. I'm going to act regular. Like, yeah. it's, it's regular. We all people at the end of the day. And when you at that certain celebrity status, you really want to get treated like a regular person. Yeah. Unless you're, like, ignorant and just, just who you are. But... For me, when I get at a certain status, treat me like a regular person, bro. Don't treat me like, oh, shit, red carpet because he's walking in. Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm, I'm a regular pedestrian just like you and everybody else. He mentioned uh, at the workout, like, hey, he wanted a photo, and then he's calling me out. Did you ever call him out? Because I think that's where all this is stemming from. Nah, I never I never called T.O. out at all. Yeah. I never called T.O. out <laughs> at all. Um, he just mentioned the photo, and I was just thrown off by that because, you know, Whoever asked him a question, they didn't mention me or anything. So him just bringing my name up, why I'm in the back of your head, Tio Fimo? I don't, I don't get it. But I get it now because I know what we was talking about on this stage. But it's still weird that he he did that. But he said, you know, um, you know, once you at the top, you know, everybody screams your name. So you know, I just felt the same thing when he did that. Did you guys mention anything to each other on here before you spoke to him? Did he mention anything? Yeah. No, he had said something to me first. First, when you guys went on stage. When he was sitting down reading yeah. his book, he did something slick, like, and said something to me. So he, So everybody can't tell that he's talking to me. Yeah. You know, smart dude. But um, me being me, I turned to him, and I looked him in his eyes to see whatever he was saying was true. And we just he opened up the gate for me to start asking my questions and why you said this, why you said that type of shit. Yeah, he mentioned, uh, you know, don't call me out after... 
I know you're in a different weight class, but I would, I don't know, is that idea in your head now? Like, oh, maybe I should, like, do this. It did. I know you're one to test yourself, and I know yeah. if I were to ask you, do you think you'd be TL Film, you'd be like, hell yeah, because I know how you are as an athlete. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. But um, right now, focus on Pedraza, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, Thursday night is going to be a hell of a night. When I'm in that ring fighting Pedraza, we not even going to be thinking about all this stuff that we talk about right now, honestly. And um, after I fight Pedraza, I would love to fight Nagarate right afterwards, mm. right afterwards. And um, I mean, truth be told, like Tio did his thing in the sport of boxing so far. He became a two division champion, and um, like he said, he fought Lomachenko when nobody wanted to fight him, and Josh Taylor. Like, like Tio earned his stripes in this sport. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So right now, I'm on my course of earning mine, and um, of course, I would love to fight Tio Fimo at 140 or whatever weight he want to fight at his short ass. But um, we can we can definitely make the fight happen eventually for sure what do you make of vaquero uh being granted that title shot i know uh, frustrated shakur um he retired uh but what do you make of that situation of him getting that title shot it's politics in the game man but i can say this shakur been calling out a lot of he been calling out all the champions or if you're not a champion fun fights for the sport of boxing and people just have been denying them so like you know after a while bro you just get sick of the shit Shakur made a lot of millions of dollars in this sport already. Smart investments that's going to keep him afloat. So, like, man, at this point, he's just like, man, fuck boxing. Like, I'm retired. Like, I did a lot. He's a three-division champion. You understand what I'm saying? Like, name somebody at his age that's a three-division champion, but champions don't want to fight him. So, it's definitely a stressful situation. I understand his retirement. Uh, you spoken to him, obviously. Is he serious about it or he's just kind of... You know, was in the moment, he's going to wait a little bit, and then he'll come back. Because he was tweeting at Ryan, like, hey, I'll come back for you. He's only going to come back for big fights, like real big fights. He's not going to fight nobody less than a big fight. Yeah. I'm going to just be real with you. Like, that's why he was tweeting back with Ryan. He would love to fight Javante Davis, uh, Devin Haney, uh, maybe even Tia Fimo. I don't know. But he's only going to come back for a big fight. But this man been calling out big fights for years, so he haven't got one yet. So just expect him to be going for some time. I'm going to ask you these last two uh, questions on fights coming up because they're in and around your weight class, and I could see you potentially fighting these guys. First, Lomachenko and George Cambosis. I know you've told me you want the winner of that fight for your title shot, but what do you make of that fight and who wins and why? Uh, just me knowing the behind-the-scenes shit of the Cambosis and Lomachenko fight, um, it's, 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 a, it's a long shot. So um, I'm kind of going to put that behind me. And if I get to whoever wins that fight, which I think is going to be Lomachenko, then, man, prayerfully I get there to fight one of them. But I know more realistically I can get to Nagarate after he, after he wins his fight. Why is Loma long shot? Just because at, at his point of his career he wants bigger names or... I mean, I see Lomachenko possibly retiring after this fight. Like, he done put in so much work. He done had a long-ass amateur career. Um, yeah, I just see him retiring after this fight, possibly. Or I don't see him, you know, fighting an up-and-coming. If anything, he'll go fight Shakur. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Or rematch Tia Fibo. You understand what I'm saying? Stuff that really makes more sense than, than fighting fighting me. Like I said, I would love to fight him, but shit that makes sense, I mean, that's, it's just a long shot. And finally, I think the build-up to this fight would be great if Roley is the winner. But uh, Roley against Pitbull, how do you see that one? Fun fight. Yeah. Definitely, definitely a fun fight. Pitbull moving up to 140. That Oopa Loopa, <laughs> he got balls because he's so little. So, I mean, fun fight. Um, Just just off the size. I'm just going off the size alone, man. Uh, Roley, like he's bigger. He's been out that weight class. And everybody knows he can punch. Um. I can see, you know, Isaac Cruz giving Roley some problems. But, um, man, just Roley, he's just a bigger fighter. And he been in there with, with Tank and other good fighters. So I'm going to just, I'm leaning it towards Roley. But I ain't going to put my money on it. Mm. So it wouldn't surprise you if Isaac uh, catches him or ends up winning? Oh, yeah, for sure. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, I feel like after Roley, you know, got knocked out from Tank, he he been a little, you know, gun shy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and not trigger happy like when he went into the tank fight. You know, confidence, like, oh, I can't get, you know. Yes, now I feel like he's more fighting, like, ah, I'm scared. Yeah, more yeah. cautious. I mean, it is, it is respected. Well, you can say smarter, too. Right? Yeah, smarter. Like, yeah. And it's respected, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been knocked out at all, or I've been dropped before, but I've never been knocked out. So, I mean, I can't imagine of how getting into a ring after that would feel. Mm. So, um, I can say he's fighting more smarter now. So, maybe that probably played a good part for him fighting Isaac Cruz. Mm. 
And I can't wait for those two fights. And Keyshawn, man, people are, are uh, looking forward to this fight against Jose Pedraza coming up this Thursday. People are calling it a step up, but uh, I'm sure you don't see it as a step up uh, at all. But hey, man, appreciate the time. Thank you so much. You leave me hanging. Oh, okay, no, <laughs> I'm like, no. Oh man, he's mad at me again. But yeah, I know you weren't. Keyshawn Davis, Marcos Vegas, here in Las Vegas.